Philippine news today. Please subscribe and then check notification box to get all breaking news alert. There seems to be a new war on white people that is heavily driven by leftist propaganda. The mainstream media is to blame for spreading this kind of racism, but what's even worse is most people still refuse to see and acknowledge it. The New York Times has established itself as a divisive news source, and one author just proved it as he hit a new racist low with a sick question about white people. Race relations hit an all-time low during the Obama administration. When Democrats couldn't win an argument, name-calling quickly became their tactic of choice, and they have yet to drop it. Sadly, it only got worse when they found themselves losing based on policy to Donald Trump. However, instead of evaluating their own shortcomings, they resorted to throwing around the word racist. Unfortunately, it's not the political right where most current-day racism is seen. Shockingly, one author took it to a whole other level with his recent hit piece. The New York Times credibility has been circling the drain, losing readers since people can't take them seriously, thanks to the incessant Trump bashing, conservative trash talking, and stories with anonymous sources that turn out to be fake news, conveniently pushing liberal agendas. While remaining heavily focused on race, just like every other liberal news source these days, they continue to divide Americans based on skin color. Democrats are so fixated on skin color, and Republicans are expected to put up with their hypocrisy while keeping our mouths shut as we're called the bigots. One New York Times author is proving just how insane the left is and just how far they will go with racism, and it all boils down to one question he had about white people. The author, who also sadly happens to be a professor, wonders whether he can let his young children be friends with white people, in light of recent events including the presidency of Donald Trump and the Charlottesville riots. As the Daily Caller reports, Iko Anyanka, a professor at Yeshiva University's Benjamin N. Cardozo School of Law, argued that he will have to raise his children to have serious doubts about whether they can have true, meaningful friendships with white people, in his New York Times op-ed, which is titled Can My Children Be Friends with White People? Unfortunately, it gets worse. Donald Trump's election has made it clear that I will teach my boys the lesson generations old one that I for the most part nearly escaped, Yanker wrote. I will teach them to be cautious, I will teach them suspicion, and I will teach them distrust. Much sooner than I thought I would, I will have to discuss with my boys whether they can truly be friends with white people. We haven't figured out the correlation between Trump and his kids' friends, but the logic of the left often baffles us. According to the Daily Caller, the professor added that he would be raising his sons to be wary of friendships with white people because not only has history given minorities few reasons to be able to trust white people, but also due to the tendency from Trump supporters to turn a blind eye to President Donald Trump's malice towards people of color. Mr. Trump's supporters are practiced at purposeful blindness. That his political life started with denying, without evidence, that Barack Obama is American, that this black man could truly be the legitimate president, is simply ignored, Yanke alleged, making generalizations about half the country based on the way they voted in the presidential election, I do not write this with liberal condescension or glee. My heart is unbearably heavy when I assure you we cannot be friends. Can you imagine if a white person wrote his about black people, detailing reasons to fear and distrust based on skin color alone? Can you imagine if a Republican wrote his about Democrats, declaring all could be painted with the broad brush based on one single vote in their lifetime? Hell, it wasn't just registered Republicans who voted for Trump, it was a lot of Democrats too. So, Yanka's thinking, if you can even call it that is so flawed on so many levels. The good news is, he's doing the white kids a favor. I would not want my children to be friends with children who are sadly being raised with such horrendously racist sentiments being espoused from their father's mouth. If this is what he says publicly, can you imagine what's said behind closed doors? Furthermore, this is an educator. This story is frightening on so many levels. If the shoe were on the other foot, a white professor would be out of a job right now. This man does not trust others based on skin color alone.
Tell me, how fairly do you think he treats his white students? Trump has disavowed white supremacy and racism, shamed the KKK, and called racism out for what it is, unlike Obama, who increased division, and unlike Yanka, who just made blatantly racist statements in a publication. Either the left is that stupid, or they have an extreme case of selective hearing. You would think the New York Times would know better than to run a story as ridiculous and outwardly racist as that one, but once again, the left has outdone themselves. Every time another story like this one goes out, all it does is divide our nation further, but what's worse is the double standard, not just in the media but society in general. If Fox News ever ran a story like this, the left would be up in arms and the professor would be out of a job. There's definitely a problem with racism in this country, and it's time those who use the word the most, take a look in the mirror. Share the story and leave a comment by clicking one of the buttons below. Follow us on Facebook at Mad World News.